Sometimes the monster that you do not see is more dangerous than the monster that you see waltzing towards you. Hi everyone, I found something very interesting for you and we're talking about tsunamis today and we all have them on the radar recently with all these big earthquakes, the mega thrust earthquake in Kamchatka, another 7.4 just a few hours ago, tsunami warning issued. So we all remember 2004 Boxing Day tsunami, 2011 earthquake and then tsunami in Japan. We all remember Fukushima, but that's not the kind of tsunami that I want to talk about. There's something lurking, something dangerous is lurking in the depth of the ocean. And I kind of want to bet that you haven't heard about this, but it can be more dangerous than the big tall tsunami waves that you see heading towards you. I hope you're interested now. What these things do is they rise in silence. They move in secret and then they unleash a power only few realize it even exists. It sounds a little bit mysterious and it is, guys, but it is something that we really have to learn about, in my opinion. And most of the dangers that we fear from the ocean, they happen right on the surface, right? Ocean waves, storms, big tsunamis, raging tides. But deep below our oceans, something far stranger is at work. It's invisible to our eyes, but it is present. It is powerful enough to shape coastlines and stir the seas. And these hidden forces move silently in the dark. The scientists say these may be the most or at least some of the most overlooked and mysterious phenomena that exist in the depth of the oceans. They are called internal tsunamis, gigantic waves that are hidden deep below the Earth's ocean's surface. Can you believe that? And when most people picture a tsunami, they imagine massive walls of water high walls of water. We're all worried about here on the West Coast about the big mega thrust earthquake, the big one when the Cascadia Fault will rupture and it can send immediately up to 100 feet tsunamis towards the coastlines and of course in the other directions of the Pacific. But internal tsunamis, they happen out of sight. We don't know. We don't see them. But there are colossal waves that roll through the oceans, through layers of the ocean, instead of across the surface. So they're nearly invisible to our human eye. Have you ever seen one? I, I bet not. And despite the fact that they're underwater, and here comes the dangerous thing, they can be hundreds of feet high hundreds and they can also travel vast distances they have a very far reach and because they're moving underwater these internal tsunamis they don't look like crashing waves as we know them but instead of that they push entire layers of an entire ocean up and down and guys that invisible power can disrupt ecosystems big time can stir up nutrients, and it can even influence global weather. And scientists make it clear, these underwater tsunamis can dwarf the most powerful surface tsunamis. They can be way more powerful. Of course, these internal tsunamis may not look as dramatic as the surface tsunamis. I mean, when we see them coming, um, I, I think at least since 2004, we know when we see one, oh my God, what is this? Um, oh, we know what it is. People in 2004 were wondering, oh my God, what is this? Now we, at least everyone should know. So many tsunamis that are caused by landslides or earthquakes are much smaller than these internal tsunamis. And we rarely notice internal tsunamis because they happen so deep in the ocean. So how do we know that they are existing? 
The scientists are measuring these waves. They're using instruments, um, not by sight, but because of their sheer force, it makes them an important force in the ocean that definitely needs to be investigated because they can carry immense amounts of energy and that changes the way the seas behave completely. And that has an impact to the people living along the shorelines or on islands. So what triggers these internal tsunamis? If it's not like earthquakes, they're triggered by shifting tides and also specific underwater geography. So these mysterious waves do not usually start with earthquakes. Instead, they're triggered when tides interact with certain underwater features like ridges, seamounts, or continental slopes because the tides are pushing against these features and then they displace massive amounts of water. And that's what sets off these massive underwater waves. So that's why these internal tsunamis are often found in places that have kind of a rugged seafloor geology. And when the tides or the, the, the movement of water happens over these rugged surfaces, like these underwater mountains, it sets the waves in motion. It makes them a natural but highly overlooked part of Earth's ocean system. Nobody talks about this. They can travel thousands of miles and nobody knows, notices it. Well, you might say, well, if we don't notice it, who cares? But we should care. And it's fascinating how far they can travel. And they are so powerful. They can travel thousands and thousands of miles beneath the surface <clears throat> without losing any of their power. Yeah, these waves do not cause surface destruction like the normal normal tsunamis that we fear and that have happened when they do hit land. Basically, instead, they quietly move through the ocean and they're shaping currents. They're redistributing heat and nutrients in the ocean. Their silent long distance journey makes them an essential, a hidden but an essential piece of how our oceans are working. Many phenomena are explained by these waves. Because you have to understand, our oceans are made up of like different layers with warmer water on top and colder, denser water below. You feel that yourself if you are swimming in a lake in the summer. So normally these layers do not mix much, but internal tsunamis, they shake things up. So their massive movement can blend these layers together and that can pull nutrients upward and can send heat downward. Basically, this mixing helps regulate temperatures so that the surface doesn't get too warm. And also it feeds marine life. And really without that system, many ecosystems would not get the nutrients they need to survive. These internal tsunamis are crucial for maintaining the balance in our oceans and also supporting countless forms of life. And that affects us as well. They can affect global climate in surprising ways. Many effects we did not understand, but these internal tsunamis explain these phenomena. When they're mixing warm and cold waters, they help regulate how heat is stored and how heat is moved around the planet. So this process then has ripple effects on weather, weather systems, storm patterns, and even long-term climate modifications. I don't say the C word because then YouTube puts banners everywhere, but they'll probably do anyways. So I'll give you an example, guys. Um, the way the heat is distributed in the ocean directly affects how much energy fuels hurricanes or El Nino events. And that is important for us. Scientists are now learning that without internal tsunamis, the Earth's climate system might look very different and potentially a lot less stable. But internal tsunamis can be dangerous for us, for sure. 
especially for submarines, but also for offshore operations. They rarely pose a threat to people on land, but they can be risky for those that are at sea. We're talking about, of course, submarine is the first that comes to mind, but also for offshore drilling platforms. That's a lot of force. There's lots of underwater cables, long distance under seawater cables. They may all be affected by these sudden shifts um, that, is, that are caused by these internal tsunamis. And the problem is because they happen at depth underwater to detect them in time or detect them before they happen or when they happen to give out warnings is extremely difficult because a strong internal tsunami can cause very rapid changes in water pressure and in the water currents. So for a submarine or a deep sea water operation that can be extremely dangerous gives them almost no time to prepare or react. So engineers and scientists are really working hard to better understand this phenomenon and for some reason and, and somehow develop something that they can prepare better for potential risks. And these waves have been spotted in hot spots around the world. They are rare but they have been recorded in many oceans, including the South China Sea, the Atlantic and the Pacific. Of course, as I just said, some regions with steep underwater ridges or continental slopes experience them more often. For example, the Luzon Strait between Taiwan and the Philippines. That's definitely a well-known hotspot for a phenomenon like this. And sometimes satellites can detect internal tsunamis indirectly because they leave subtle surface patterns in the water that you really only can identify if you're looking at it from space. They look like faint ripples or streaks. And those traces are helping the scientists to locate where these gigantic hidden waves are happening across the globe. And I'm sure that in the future, AI, with the help of AI, they will be even able to detect them far more quickly. And they may be linked to mysterious, how we call it, rogue wave activity at the surface. Strange ocean events. Some scientists think these events are linked to these internal tsunamis, like these rogue waves. Where is that wave coming from? Whoa, you're at sea with your boat, with your freight boat, and then a rogue wave comes towards you. And there are enormous unexpected waves that appear suddenly at the surface. And often they have very destructive power. Of course, not all rogue waves come from internal tsunamis. Some of them have other uh, reason, but some researchers think that this underwater movement might transfer energy upwards in some cases and then trigger them. And this theory, guys, adds another layer of mystery to that. Because if that is true, it would mean that these hidden dynamics from deep below can create hazards far above. So the ocean secrets, they often connect in unexpected ways. So it's important to also study internal tsunamis in order to be able to protect coastal communities. Yeah, they usually don't crash onto shore, but understanding them matters for people on land because maybe every, uh, I don't know, a few hundred years or so, one does. And as I said, they influence ocean currents, they nutrient flows, and even how pollutants spread. And this would be very, very important to understand. It's affecting fishing industries, marine ecosystems, and local weather conditions. So having more knowledge helps communities prepare for impacts that might otherwise seem very mysterious or sudden and could hit them and damage them a lot. 
So our oceans still hold many, many secrets, but maybe this is one big secret that I could unravel, unfold for you guys. If you liked it, leave this video a like, share it with your friends, give this video a hype. This is a new feature where you see the comments underneath this video, you can slide the comments away or you see the hype button right away. So please press it. If you want to support me with coffee, go to mybuymeacoffee.com slash silky site, click the join button to become a supporting member. You're getting something behind the scenes and and thank you for your supers, guys, and check out the videos in the end screen. A monstrosity of a landslide has created a lake that's threatening to overflow. And then downstream, it'll be a disaster. And this can happen at any time. That video is in the end screen. I see you there in a second. Bye-bye.